Shalom, shalom. I'm going to start by giving infinite honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ha-Rakakwadash. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ha-Rakakwadash. The belongs to the elders and apostles, a great millstone who teach and rule well. Shalom to the Akim and Aguafim out there learning along, doing your due diligence and making your calling of election sure. And just a quick, uh, a quick inspirational lesson, you know, before people go to sleep, if this video gets uploaded before that time, uh, shalom. But, uh, I just wanted to touch on a couple points. I was just reading through the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach chapter 24. And I just wanted to, to, to read a few scriptures on down and then touch on another point because, you know, our Lord tells us that the dumb. That the dumb shall speak, the, the those of a stem, of stammering lips shall speak, and the blind shall see. So you know when when you see us out there on the highways and byways, or when you see brothers going into the scriptures, it's our Lord waking His people up. You know, and even so, the Lord may have the Spirit on you to do so as well. You know, there's there's been you know many occasions where brothers came into the truth, and they already had a strong foundation of the of the of the scripture. They just they were just missing the name. And, and, you know, who the chosen people were, you know, and, and, and the, those missing puzzle pieces. And when that happened, it was like the Lord uh, unlocked that player, you know. So now, boom, the Lord has another servant out on the highways and the byways doing his will. So even even those of y'all who may, you know, you may uh, have studied the Bible, have studied the scripture and, uh, you know, beforehand and, and been, you know, not knowing fully. Well, when you come into the truth, now, you know, now, you know, who's. Behind that veil, you know, now you know that it's it's our Lord Yahweh Shai and our Father Yahweh, you know, so so no longer can they hold that 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 uh that 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 covering over our face. They can't blind us no more because we know the truth, you know, so so wherever the Lord may have you you within uh the body to be profitable to him, you know, so be it. But, you know, you want to be attentive to this and be paying attention to, you know, the Lord speaking to you through his men. And I say through his men specifically because in the times that we're in, you know, I'm going to just say it blatantly. They're trying to fake the Holy Spirit, you know, and 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 why do I say that? Because all the times uh, throughout history, they've tried to make the Holy Spirit to be some type of alternate identity, some type of a uh, 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 spirit that comes over you that just makes your body feel good. That's not the Holy Spirit, man. The Holy Spirit is a spirit is a spirit of discipline. You know, when I touched on it, uh, I, I constantly touch on it because brothers may need that constant alert to say, hey, our Lord tells us that the heart is deceitful above all things. That's a, a, a nice one to go into, because in the times that we're coming into they're they're pushing this, their electronics further and further. You know, they got uh, AI technology along with their chemtrails, along with their graphite, along with their their, their, their satellites, along with the, them poisoning the food with metals. So if they could tap in and try to tap into your brain, you know, same way, same way somebody uses a, a, a computer and taps into a car, com a, a car system, you know, a car, a car computer, you know, that's the same thing they're trying to do with people's brains. So you, you want to be. You want to be real attentive as far as the information you're taking in. You don't want to listen to nobody trying to deceive you and telling you all these sweet things. You know, you want to be listening to the men of the Lord who are going to give it to you straight. You know, our Lord tells us uh, that this roll is sour and it's sweet. You know, when you eat it at first, it may be sour like man. And then over time, it'll be sweet. And then when you teach it to others, it'll be sweet when they hear it. It may be sour at first, but when once they get that full understanding, it'll be sweet to them because they'll realize, OK, this is the Lord waking me up and bringing me out of all that filth. And at that same time, he tells me that he he, he, he shed his, his blood was shed for the nation of Israel, for those believers in, in that their conscience would be cleared of all the wicked things they did in the past so that they can serve him. You know, our Lord calls us his his servants. So our Lord ain't do what he did on the cross. Our Lord ain't sacrificed himself on the cross for no reason. He sacrificed himself on the cross in order that we would have a, a, a mediator, you know, 
And then at that same time, our Lord tells us, if this were my kingdom, my people would fight for me. My servants would fight for me. I'll get that in fact. So if we're, if we're heralding in the kingdom of heaven, you know, our father, Yahweh, and our Lord, Yahweh Shai is doing it through us. But if, if, they're, if, if, they're, if he's using us to herald in the kingdom of heaven, you know, we're not to be sluggards at this. We're not to be slack at this. We're not to let anything come in between us serving the Lord. Y'all bear with me. I just got to get my music. I don't need to. I'm, 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 I'm reciting the song. But um, I always like to, to have some music in the mix. Uh, but as I was saying, though, when you're a servant, man, you got certain obligations. And even that within itself, you got to be attentive to how you serve. Because you can't be serving for your own belly. You can't be serving for your own uh, uh, needs. Our Lord is going to provide all the things that we need. But first, we have to be able to uh, carry, out, carry out our requirements with a sincere heart. You know, carry out the things that the Lord has us doing with a sincere heart. So you can't think, okay, well, what gain am I getting? You know, the disciples asked the Lord that question, and he answered them. Anyone who leaves their mothers or their fathers or their wives or their children will get it back a hundredfold in the kingdom. So don't worry about you. Don't worry about your own game. You know, that's that's kind of like a, uh, our Lord kind of put a spiritual, spiritual insurance on us. So whatever gets taken from us, as long as you continue to have faith in the Lord, as long as you continue to fear the Lord, as long as you continue to serve the Lord, our Lord is going to have your back. Don't worry about none of the things that are happening on this side. And don't try to don't try to put yourself in no predicament to where you think if you lose on this side, then you gain on this side, on, on the other side. Hey, if, if the Lord has it to where your situation is stable and, and, and you know, your, your wife might receive the knowledge and she might be like, all right, cool, I'm rocking with you. Your kids might learn with you. You know, on a nightly basis, so be it. That's a beautiful thing. The Lord can deliver your whole family. That's nothing to the Lord. The Lord tells us, uh, y'all bear with me. It, uh, the Lord tells us it's a, a, a light thing for him to raise up the 12 tribes of Israel. Servants to the 12 tribes of Israel, you know. So when our Lord gets ready to do away with this kingdom that we're living in, it's going to be a, a hey, it's going to be lightweight. I'm going to put it this way. The Lord is using most of his energy. The Lord is hey, the Lord is using the least of his energy to destroy these wicked people off the off the face of the earth. You know, and then the Lord is, is really gonna show his power and his mercy when 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 we're in his presence. You know, when, when he get when he calls us up, that's when the Lord is really gonna show out. You know? But for the most part, hey, the Lord is just sweeping his broom across the face of the earth. And the same way when you sweep a hard hardwood floor, you go back and forth multiple times. That's the same thing the Lord is doing. So don't trip when you see these people falling for these tactics. Don't trip when you see people falling for the different juices, the different electrolytes. Hey, it's going to happen. You know, our Lord tells us that those who may be saved is like a drop compared to a wave of those who perish. So don't trip about, about them. You know, don't trip about the two thirds because they're going to come back in the kingdom. And don't have no remorse for no wicked Edomite, for no Edomites, for no for no no Moabites, for none of them. Man, they didn't had us in slavery and captivity. They didn't dogged us. You know, you having you having mercy on them and, and feeling bad for them is you completely missing the fact that they didn't misused and destroyed you. You know. Hey, I'm hey, the, the mentality should be. Uh, focusing on filling the Lord's house, you know. Huh, let me get it together real quick. This is John chapter 18 and verse 36. I'll start at verse 34. Yahweh answered him, Are you speaking for yourself about this, or did others tell you concerning concerning me? I'll start at verse 33. Then Pilate entered the platerium, again called Yahweh and said to him, are you the king of the Jews? Yahweh answered him, Are you speaking for yourself about this? Or did others tell you this concerning me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you to me. What have you done? Yahweh answered, My kingdom is not of this world. My kingdom, if my kingdom were of this world, my servants would fight 
so that I would not be delivered to the Jews, but now my kingdom is not from here. So our Lord tells us that he is from above. So with that being said, what we're fighting for isn't no stake next to no Edomite or next to no Moabite or next to no Ammonite or no Hamite. We're, hey, we're not going to be sitting next to no, none of these other nations in the kingdom. We're not going to have no Chinese man sitting next to us in the kingdom. They're not even going to be able to dwell in our dwelling place. They're not even going to be, there's going to be a force field and a huge gate so that they can't even get to where we're dwelling. They're going to be our servants. And, and after a thousand years, they're going to be able to, to, to work and, and, and make their little, uh, build their little community. And, and, and they're not going to be nowhere near us, you know. So we're not fighting for nothing on this side. Everything over on, on, on this side is about to be destroyed. Y'all bear with me though. I'm going to get to the, to the uh, segment that caused me to make this lesson. You know, for those of y'all who, uh, who are, uh, who are, who are stuck on the fact that our Lord told us to depart from this side, our Lord says, whoever loves his mother or his father or his child or his significant other more than me is not worthy of me. So you don't want to put somebody else in front of your salvation, in front of your father, you know? Y'all bear with me for a second. I'm looking for the scripture that talks about uh, it is nothing for the Lord to raise up the 12 tribes. But as I was saying, man, we know what they're trying to do with those juices, you know? Hey, and, and, and for the most part, uh... You know, our Lord is, that's, 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 that's nothing, uh, Salakia. For the most part, that's, that's stuff that the Lord created. Not saying that you should trust in it, but the Lord pushed these devils to make that stuff, you know? So don't be, don't be sweating that either, you know? We know that it's not no real medicine. You know, for the most part, you, hey, for the people, you know, you may have people around you that took it, and you may have people that that you may tell, and they still don't get it. It's like a brick wall is blocking the words from getting to their ears. Hey, for the most part, the Lord is going to deal with that, you know. But uh, for those for those who are listening, man, don't let these different waves, the different tactics that the devil is rolling out with shake you up. You know, you want to remain stable. That's in Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thine time and the strength of your salvation. So even that within itself, our Lord tells us that wisdom and knowledge is going to be the strength of your salvation. So when you, when you, when you seek the knowledge of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, when you study and you learn, a same way a teacher rewards the students that diligently learn and diligently uh, study in order to receive a good grade on the test, that's the same way the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son rewards those who diligently seek Him, you know? And that comes with praying on a nightly basis. Uh, that comes with actually being a, 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 a aid to the church, you know? And, and, you, and you, may not, you may not have the same lot as another brother, you know? But ultimately, it's going to come through studying the Scripture. You may, you, may, you may read through the Scripture and read through the testimonies. And say, dang, that sounds just like the type of person I am. You know? It could be it could be from Job. It could be from, from David. It could be from King Solomon. It could be from, 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 from Samuel. It could be from, from numerous accounts where the Lord worked with specific individuals. But you always want to remember to stay humble. Simply saying that you could you could resonate with with uh one of the men of the Lord that came before you, before us. You know, and you could say, okay. Well, well, you know, how can I serve the Lord in a humble manner and, and not do too much? You know, not offend, because that's the main thing. You want to serve the Lord, but you don't want to offend. You know, and ultimately that's going to come through studying the scripture. This is Isaiah chapter 49 and verse. 
Isaiah chapter 49, and I'll read verse 1. The point is in verse 6. It reads, Listen, O coastlands, to me, and take heed, you peoples, from afar. The Lord has called me from the womb, from the matrix of my mother. He has made me. He has made mention of my name. Hey, so the Lord calls specific individuals from the womb, you know. And he made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he has hidden me. He made me like a polished flint, like a polished shaft. In his quiver, he has hidden me. And notice it said hidden. So that tells you that that, that the men of the Lord aren't going to be decor, decor in a raid in all the gold and all the jewelry and all the nice whips and all the, 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 the people giving them all these compliments, the accolades. The men of the Lord ain't gonna ain't, ain't gonna be doing the most. The men of the Lord are gonna be coming in the same clothes as you, same energy as you. You know, you're gonna be able to talk to them just like you talk to to one of your homeboys. Only thing is, the the conversation isn't gonna be of the same context. You know. And he said to me, "You are my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified." Then I said, "I have labored in vain. I have I have spent my strength." For nothing and in vain, yet surely my just reward is with the Lord and my work with my power. And that goes twofold because before we came into this truth, we was doing Lord knows what. You know what? Hey, we was out bad. Our own mind had us out bad. You know, we can't blame nobody else. You know, for the most part, we know that the devil being a so-called white man set up snares and traps for us. But, but you know, everybody had a Bible. Everybody has a Bible on the nightstand. Even in prison, they got Bibles, you know. But uh, as I was saying, though, um, you know, hey, you, when you come into this truth, you're like, damn, I wasted 20 years, 15 years, 30 years, 40 years of my life believing in some JC crap. Don't feel ashamed of that. Do not feel ashamed by no means. Our Lord tells us we shall forget the shame of our youth. So shake it off. And use all that energy that you was that you had built up in the past. Use that for the for the for the true living power, our Father Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shai. Yes, surely my reward is with the Lord, and my work with my power. And now the Lord says, "Who formed me from the womb to be His servant to bring Jacob back to Him?" So so. You know, with us going out to the highways and the byways, we understand that everybody's not going to get it. But for the most part, people are going to come up to us, ask questions. You know, people are going to are, are, are going to uh, ask certain points. And that's where wisdom comes into play, because we're not exalting ourselves. You know, and that's something that constantly has to be reiterated within my mind. But I'm picking up on as well. This isn't us glorifying ourselves. The Lord is going to give us our reward in the kingdom of heaven. You know, in the times that we're in now, wisdom is exalting herself through us. And that's not coming with your own your own attitude that's not coming with your own uh agenda that's not coming with your own needs your own uh that doesn't come with your own game you know when wisdom exalts herself she does what she does and then boom you fall back this is ecclesiasticus or sirach in the book of the apocrypha chapter 24 and verse 1 wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people in the congregation of the most high Shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power? I came out of the mouth of the Most High and covered the earth as a cloud. I dwelt in the high places and my throne is in cloudy pillars. I alone compassed the circuit of heaven and walked in the bottom of the deep, in the waves of the sea and in all the earth. And in every people and nation, I got, my, I got a possession. With all these I sought rest, and in whose inheritance shall I abide? So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he that made me cause my tabernacle to rest, and said, Let thy dwelling place be in Jacob, and thine inheritance in Israel. So the Lord gave us wisdom, and he commanded wisdom to dwell within our nation, within Jacob and Israel. You know? So with that being said, we you don't gotta do so so you don't gotta uh you don't gotta try too hard. You know, when, when you come into this truth, our Lord is gonna direct your paths. Simply be looking to him for your direction. But at that same time, be aware because they're using all their different weapons, their direct energy weapon, their two-way uh communication 
uh, Red Beam, whatever they call it, um, and their uh, Project Blue Beam. They're using all these things to try to fake the Holy Spirit, to try to fake wisdom. That's why they call it, uh, uh, that's why they call it, uh, AI technology. What is it called? Uh, something intelligent, artificial intelligence. That's why they called it artificial intelligence, because from the beginning, they had it in mind. Okay, we got to try to fake intelligence so that we can dumb the people down enough in order to make them believe in, in the thoughts that we're putting in their head, you know? And now back to Isaiah chapter 49 and verse five. And now the Lord says who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring back to him so that Israel is gathered to him. Now that's not saying you, that's not saying you do the most making it like a, uh, uh, making it like a, uh, 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 what do they call it? Uh, charity foundation. Like you start something on this side. No, that's simply saying you go out there and you preach the word and those whom the Lord is working with are going to receive this information. For I shall be glorious in the eyes of the Lord. I'll read that again. For I shall be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, and my power shall be my strength. We're not worried about no other man's, uh, you shouldn't be worried about no other man's approval, you know. You want to be glorious in the eyes of the Lord because he's the one who approves. He's the one who's going to be passing out those, those, those crowns of life, you know. Indeed, he says, is it too small a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the 12 tribes of Jacob and to restore and preserve and to restore the preserved ones of Israel? I will also give you as a light to the Gentiles. Being those who fell away from their heritage. They may have fallen into Christianity. They may have fallen into Catholicism. They may have fallen into Islam. But when this truth is brought out. And, and through wisdom. It's explained to them. How we were scattered abroad. And how they took advantage of us. Then that's going to bring them back to the full understanding. Okay they've been trying to trick us. You know. That you should be my salvation to the ends of the earth. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer of Israel, their Holy One, to him whom man despises, to him whom nations abhors, to the servants of rulers. Kings shall see and arise, princes shall worship, because of the Lord who is faithful, and the Holy One of Israel, who has, and he has chosen you. So as I say, uh, hey, we're not, we're not uh, focusing on getting no glory on this side, we're focusing on on, on, on bringing out this truth, you know, on making edifying lessons, on, on, on rightfully dividing the word of truth, rightfully dividing the gospel. And as I said, man, <laughs> this is a thing of growth, you know, it's not going to be a hey, brothers ain't going to be perfect at first. You may be kind of shaky at first. You know, you may, our Lord tells us, cast, cast not away thy confidence. So, so you got to be built up in the spirit, you know. But knowing the wiles of the devil and knowing that our Lord is, 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 is working with you and, and, and being patient for, uh, being patient for that harvest because he's harvesting us. He's, 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 he's letting us grow until the time of harvest. And then he's going to call up those good fruit up into his presence and then the rest of the earth he's going to scorch starting with america and and some of those other land masses as well ecclesiasticus chapter 24 and verse 32 i will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning, and I will send forth her light afar off. Now that goes into uh, prophecy, lining up the scripture with the events that happened in the past and the things that are happening in the present, as well as uh, uh, helping people to see the perspective of how things are going to happen in the future through the scripture. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever. Now, this is what wisdom has done. Well, ultimately, our father, Yahweh, and our Lord, Yahweh, 
Behold that I have not labored for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 35. Isaiah chapter 35 and verse 1. The wilderness and the wasteland shall be glad for them. And the desert shall rejoice and blossom as the rose. Our, uh, our people have been in, de in a desolate state. You know, we've been destroyed for, for hundreds of years. It shall blossom abundantly and rejoice. This is talking about us. Even with joy and singing. So when we when we recite these scriptures and, and constantly go over the same scriptures, it's a, it's us rehearsing a song. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the excellence of Caramel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the excellency of our power. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Now that goes into to edifying those who who, who who may have been deceived, you know, who may have been taken advantage of. Say to those who are fearful hearted, be strong, do not fear. Behold, your power will come with vengeance and with the recompense of Yahweh. He will come and save. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the dumb sing. For the for waters shall burst forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. Now that's talking about a, it may be a, a, a area where it's heavily impoverished. And they may not have even been thinking about the Lord. They may have been saying, thank you, Lord, when certain things happen. But as far as their day to day uh, living goes, they might not have been doing things that are lined up with pleasing the Lord. But once this truth comes out and, and that wisdom touches them. Then, hey, their lives may change. You know, that desolate place could become a, 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 a fruitful field in Lebanon. You know. The parched ground shall become a pool. And the thirsty land springs of water. In the habitation of jackals where each lay. There shall be grass with feeds of rushes. And I'm going to get this back in Ecclesiasticus chapter 24 and verse 23. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High, Yahweh, even the law which Moses commanded for the inheritance, Shalakia, for the heritage unto the congregation of Jacob. So this book of the covenants of the laws and the word of the Heavenly Father was a, was a, a, a heritage commanded to the congregation of Jacob. Faint not to be strong in the Lord, that he may confirm you. Cleave on to him, for the Lord Almighty is power alone, and besides him there was no other Savior. He filleth all things with his wisdom, as Pishon and as Tigris, which are two rivers. In the time of the new fruits, he maketh the understanding to abound like, the, like Euphrates. And as Jordan, in the time of harvest... He maketh the doctrine of knowledge appear as a light and as Gion in the time of vintage. Okay, so our Lord is pouring out wisdom and, and making those parched places, giving them a, 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 a peak, an eye for wisdom to come in and make that parched place into a pool. And eventually that pool turns into a sea. The first man knew her not perfectly. No more than the last, no more shall the last find her out. For her thoughts are more than the sea, and her counsels profounder than the great deep. I also came out as a brook from a river, and a conduit into a garden. I said, I will water my best garden. Who is that best garden? Our Lord tells us he planted Judah as a, as a vineyard. Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 1. Now let me sing to my well-beloved, speaking to the nation of Israel, the children of Israel, a song of my beloved regarding his vineyard. My well-beloved has a vineyard on a very fruitful hill. He dug it up and cleared out its stones and planted it with choice vine, choice it with the choicest vine. 
he built a tower in its midst and made and also made a wine press in it. So he expected it to bring forth good grapes, but it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge please between me and my vineyard. What more could what more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done to it? Why then, when I expected it to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? So you know, our Lord is 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 harvesting. And, and, and taking care of those whom are dwelling with wisdom. You know, everybody's not going to get it on this side. But for those who do get it, our Lord is making sure that he continues to keep that hedge of protection around them. You know, uh, there was one. Yep, it's right here. It's right here. And I'll get that next because it's like our Lord is is when, when you when you start to shy away from certain things like same way. uh same way when you do things that are that are displeasing to, to your father of the flesh, he may tap you and be like, hey, stop doing that. That's the same thing with the heavenly father. When when he when when certain things start happen happening and you start thinking in the wrong way, the heavenly father may tap you through his only begotten son, through the angels. He may tap you and be like, hey, you know, get back on point. You know, and that's where you gotta that's where you gotta use discernment in order to realign with where the heavenly father and his only begotten son want you to be at. But you can't you can't despise you can't despise the chastening of the Lord. You can't despise the Lord disciplining you. Back to Isaiah chapter thirty-five and verse eight: A highway shall be there, and a road, and it shall be called the highway of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it. And that's simply saying, you you can imagine a highway, a huge highway. And, 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 and there's a toll and, and you see people going back and forth on the highway, driving on the highway. You know, our Lord says the unclean shall not pass over it. So our Lord even made a toll. He made a buffer zone saying, hey, there's certain people that ain't going to enter in. Ultimately being those other nations. And, and for those who offend being the two thirds, our Lord is going to separate them. He's going to sift them out. But, but the other nations ain't going to be able to pass over the highway, meaning they're not going to be able to pass through and, and try to and try to uh, and try to take our heritage for their own gain. They're not going to be able to. Our Lord tells us that straight foreigners shall no longer pass through uh, Israel or, or Zion. Foreigners shall lo no longer pass through us, meaning they're not able to run down on us and, and outsmart us with our own wisdom. You know, have us offend against the heavenly father. You know, now we're knowledgeable to this, these things. So now we can now we can uh, now we can uh, 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 pay attention and offend less as well as. Uh, our Lord tells us 